Welcome, I'm Mark Crawford Levin, and I'm not running for president of the United oh. States. <laughs> So I want to welcome you all uh, to this pro-Bernie event. This is not an anti-Hillary event. This is a pro-Bernie event. And I think that what he stands for is so important that we need to revolutionize politics in our country and we need to revolutionize Hillary also. <laughs> so on Broadway right now, we have Fiddler on the Roof. And uh, we all know that Bernie is uh, uh, railing against the gap between rich and poor, and we all remember that Tevye the Milkman had a dream, or a, whatever, a pondering about if he were a rich man. So we're going to morph Tevye into a prospective member of the 1% as the son of very wealthy parents. I will be a rich man when my parents die, their money, money, money comes to me. There should be no tax on the estate, tarnishing my silver spoon. No, shouldn't have to work hard. That's what poorer, 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 poorer people have to do. I should just be filthy, filthy rich, dining on my parents' silver spoon. Me and my wife, my Goldie, will write the checks to all legislators in the town. And the one who sits in the western wing. And they will all say thanks for our contributions so each of them can stay around. Knowing a state tax is a bad thing, so bad. They all say that this tax is bad for the economy. It will stifle opportunity to invest in jobs and growth. But no one will know that it's all for show. So I get to keep it all and then just loaf. I swear by the Wall Streeters oath. Who cares about balancing the budget? That worry's gone on for too long. Besides, China's always there to lend us more. <sighs> I will be a rich man. Leaving wealth to kids is just American as apple pie. Lord, who made the gap between rich and poor? You declared what making laws are for. I should keep it all and more and more with my precious silver spoon.